Good morning, grade one students. How are you all today? How are you all feeling? I hope you all must be feeling good, happy, and your minds must be all fresh, ready to learn something, right? Ready to study something. Are you all ready to study? Yes, your minds are fresh, your tummies are full with good breakfast. Yes. Wow, that's great. Very good. Very nice to know. Now, what we are going to learn today is something which is related to writing. What is it? It's something that is related to writing. Now, remember class that what you did yesterday in the class, can you remember that? It was about grammar part, right? We did about uh, contractions and we did about the, I think we learned about, yes, we learned about conjunctions, right? Not contractions, conjunctions. And that are, what are conjunctions? They are the joining words. That means uh, whatever we did yesterday was related to grammar. Now what today we are going to learn, we are going to learn today something which is related to writing we are going to learn how to write okay now tell me class what is your um, you all love eating right eating uh, to eat healthy food is very very important for all of us to live right now you must be having your favorite foods so tell me what is your favorite food each one of you is going to give me one favorite food right Yes, starting from uh, what you call almond, which is your favorite. Do you like pancakes? Wow, very good. Do you like pancakes? Okay, wow. Uh, and you like cake also? Okay, there you can say too. You like pancakes, you like cake. Yes, Neha, what do you like? You like jelly, all right. You like burgers, but burgers is not healthy. Burgers are all junk food. I don't think so. You should have that, isn't it? Once in a blue moon, once in a month, or once a, once or twice a year, it's okay, but not every time, right? Yes. Now your turn. Mm -hmm. What is which one is your favorite? Do you like jelly? Wow, great. Okay. Now, as uh, Amir said, he likes pancakes and jelly, right? So why do you like pancakes? Is there any particular reason? Because you can eat it easily and you like the taste? Okay, all right. And uh, what about you, Alia? Why do you like the burger? Because it's yummy, you can say, all right, it's yummy. Anything else? Yes, it's yummy. Anything else? It's spicy. You love spicy food? Wow, that's cool. You love spicy food. Very good. Okay. Any other? Uh, Neha, now it's your turn. Which food do you like? You like jelly. Okay. Why do you like jelly? You can? Because it's cold, it's sweet. So that means you like sweet food? You like sweet stuff? Right? Okay. Wow, great. That means that most of you have answered to jelly. Most of you like jelly. Isn't it so? Right? So, since most of you like the same food, so we are going to learn how to write about jelly. Alright? We are going to learn how to write about jelly. For that, we need to remember few questions, which are very, very important. Now, you can see I have written on my board, that how you are going to write about your favorite food. You see, children, there is certain rule. There is certain things that you need to answer. And if you need to answer certain questions, then your uh, writing will be all good. Okay? So what those questions are? First question is, you have to see that what that food of yours looks like. Okay, what does it look like? Like you said, you like jelly. 
so what how does jelly looks like you can cut it in different shapes right so you may say that it is of different cut you can say that you can cut it in different shapes once the jelly is made you can easily cut it in whatever shape you like right isn't it like that yes okay next question is how does it smell like what is the smell of jelly yes you can say the smell is okay sweet you can say the smell is pleasant you don't uh, use good or bad for smells you use pleasant and unpleasant word okay all right it doesn't look like the smell is good the place so the smell is pleasant the smell is unpleasant these are actually the vocabulary the accurate vocabulary which you should use okay what else how the how else what else you will describe the smell of jelly it might be fruity the smell might be fruity why it might be fruity you see because you take jelly with different of different flavors right sometimes jelly comes uh, you can get the jelly uh, in the flavor of a banana a banana jelly a mango jelly then a pineapple jelly a strawberry jelly which is commonly used and most of us they love strawberry jellies isn't it so these are different flavors and these flavors are all about flavors of different kinds of fruits right so that is why we say it has a fruity smell a fruity smell so this is how and then the last question is how it is prepared you should know that how your favorite food is prepared do you all know how to prepare jelly yes it's very easy how do you know how do, uh, is it prepared you boil the water you put the jelly powder in it you stir it and then you keep it in the freezer to get uh, in the refrigerator to get cool to cool down to get cold and then once it is formed you can easily cut it this is how jelly is prepared so now once you have answered all these questions once we have written all these uh, answers in the form of a web now we all are ready to write about our favorite food now how we are going to write that i'm going to tell you by writing in, over here in my on my laptop whiteboard so how are you going to do that you will write all these answers to all these questions whatever we have discussed just now in the form of sentences okay so what is your favorite food first you will write my favorite food is jelly it looks because you can cut it in different shapes and in this way we are going to write three sentences in the form of a paragraph are you all ready okay now let's go i will show you over here now how we are going to start my favorite food is jelly jelly you can cut no first we can write down the favorite food is jelly then uh, it how is it it is very yummy then you can i will write down in this sentence you can cut it into different shapes once it is formed right shapes and it has a 
twenty mil and is and is not difficult. prepare right and it is not difficult to prepare now see how we have written my favorite food is jelly it is very yummy you can cut it into different shapes it has a fruity smell and it is not difficult to prepare see we have written three sentences answering all these three questions which we have written in the form of a web. Right? You understood how we have written this? Yes? <clears throat> you have answered all these three questions and you have uh, in the form, you have uh, <clears throat> written in the form of three different sentences. Okay. Now comes the other part of the work. And that is, if I ask you, like suppose, <clears throat> excuse me, like suppose in the lesson of yours, the lesson of yours was about food poems, right? It was a poem. Now, if I ask you to write <clears throat> a poem on jelly, how it is prepared. So how can you uh, write the poem? How will you write it? Remember, you will have to think about some of the rhyming <clears throat> rhyming words right that uh, that how because you whatever you have read in the book that was about food poems they were all they, they were telling us how it is made and in the form of rhyming words do you understand so uh, you can uh, you will just think about a poem which sounds the same like pancakes poem which is there in your book Right, and you can just think about few. You can just use few words which they have already given there in the word bank, like uh, cooking words like beak, soft, sift, uh, swift, roll, heat, boil, chop, cut, stir, and pour, make. These are the cooking words, and then the cooking equipments also they have given like tin, tray, plate, pot bowl dish and then the food that pastry cake samosa eggs beans whatever it is and jelly so we are going to since most of you love jelly so we are going to write a poem on yes on jelly now first of all tell me how it is made how it is made okay you put the water in the bowl and boil the water, okay. Once the water is boiled, you add the gel powder in it and keep stirring it. Now, you will put the, that mixture in a serving bowl, okay. And you will keep the jelly in the fridge refrigerator for about uh, an hour or half an hour till it is, it, uh, till it is set. And once it is said, you will cut it in your different shapes. Right? Do you understand? So this is the procedure of how jelly is made. Now, you are going to write it in the form of a poem and in the form of rhyming words. Now, how you are going to make it? You say, heat the water, put the jelly powder, put the jelly powder. Stir the powder, uh, stir uh, the water. Okay, so now let's try and write it out somewhere. Okay, first we are going to erase this. Now we are going to write down. Now how it is written? Heat 
need the water. Put the jelly powder. This is how we do. Yes. Then stir the water. Then put it in a bowl. Lastly, eat it while it's cold. You see? Yeah, we have done. It rhymes. See. Heat the water, put the jelly powder, stir the water, put it in a bowl, eat it while it's cold. See how we have written the uh, we have written the procedure in the form of a poem. Wow, that's great, class. See how you have written. Now I want you all to write down the same stanza in your notebook. Write the heading today, state everything, and write down this in the in your notebook. In the in the same way, like I have written. Heat the water, put the jelly powder, stir the water, put it in a bowl, eat it while it's cold. See, you have written a poem. Okay. So this is how a poem is written. It should rhyme. It should the verse should rhyme with one another. <coughs> Excuse me today that I'm having a little problem in my throat. So um, so you know. How we have written the poem now? Okay, so you all have also written. Good job. Now later on for homework, you may draw a picture of a jelly or something like that. And the the other thing is, I'll be posting your homework on portal, which will be related something to uh, making a poem or something like that, to poem or something like that in in your workbook. The homework would be of your workbook. Do it yourself. But if you find any problem or any confusion that you are not able to write it down or you have some difficulty in understanding, you are always welcome to ask your teacher. Okay, in my next class, I will explain. Okay, class, all right. So, bye-bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.